hello gems hi how are you guys doing today we're gonna jump into a mega and i don't know why my camera keeps going that way but we're gonna jump into a mega today i haven't done a mega on this channel for so long and i wanted to jump into one and see what happens now guys it's going to be a little bit lengthy i'm going to try to make it at least 40 minutes because or under you know the budget is 40 minutes <laughs> because um you know the one thing i hate about megas is that they take a long time to upload because they're so lengthy so let's see what's gonna happen tonight but if this resonates you guys go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the yt if it doesn't resonate i'll have the playlist linked below in the description and of course you guys if you want a personal booking with me go ahead and hit me up at the same tarot at gmail.com we have three different offers available we have the 35 dollar which is five questions the 60 dollar read which is for 28 minutes and then we have the 70 dollar read which is for 38 minutes so if you guys are interested go ahead and hit me up knowing that i'm trying to stay consistent on the channel but i do deal with a lot of personals when i deal with a lot of personals i'm almost like okay i need to take it easy with the videos but um just bear with me you guys we're not in the green anymore on the channel so a lot of you are not getting notification and a lot of my videos are not being pushed out with youtube because i'm in the gray okay i'm in the gray <laughs> So please go ahead and like the video if you do did get a notification from YouTube. Just go ahead and like the video to show support. That's all I ask, okay? All right, so let's see what we have for you. Let's see what love reading, because I haven't been doing a lot of love reading on the channel. So, okay, so let's see what we have for love. For Geminis. That's the energy. For Gemini's love. I'm seeing someone um being guarded or you're about to find out some things or they're trying to protect you from what you need to, to really know. This is what I'm seeing, but I'm also feeling like you're exhausted or burnt out. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Thank you, angels. Thank you, divine. Thank you, source. What's the first card? Ooh, temperance. So your angels are definitely making their way and coming through here. This is what I'm seeing with the temperance being your first card. I'm here. Remember to choose yourself. Remember to be patient with yourself. Remember to nurture yourself first. Okay. I'm seeing number 16 for some of you. Um, if that resonates, um, I'm seeing Sag energy for those of you who are dealing with a Sag. This is what I'm seeing here, but remember to keep yourself balanced out. Um, there are so many things that are going to be happening. I'm hearing transformations are happening with this temperance energy. Divine timing is taking place. Please trust the process as well. I'm seeing a lot of um, anxiety here because of a split. Okay, someone is in separation um, with an energy. Okay, and they're not dealing very well. With this situation this could be you gems because this is your energy here in reverse within the lovers in reverse here okay um you have to close a lot of chapters in your life and you have to heal you know as well this is what i'm seeing with the ten of swords energy there's a lot of things that you have to address here and definitely heal and close these chapters finally close these chapters and i feel like this kind of like put a delay in the damper of your healing because you're like focused on this situation this got you into this energy where you're just like having these anxieties and uh, uh these fears or you know this unconfident energy about yourself in this moment in this in this connection but i'm seeing a new beginning here with the ace of wands okay and i'm also seeing the eight of wands right next to it so this is going to happen very very quickly this new beginning here is going to be happening very, very quickly for you. Um, so I'm seeing like a very, like something like a determination, a real de determination energy is coming through. Someone wants to, ha it's like, I'm getting like, this person needs answers. Like, why is this happening? Why is this separation happening? Like, they're not dealing very well with this separation. We have the moon. 
okay your intuition is off okay you've been having some kind of dreams or visions or you've been having dreams about a transition meaning maybe you've been having dreams about a storm um like water or a flood or you've been having dreams of you know a tornado coming towards you these are signs that there is going to be a transition happening within your life so i'm definitely seeing like your angels because your angels been here for a very long time with this situation with you um and they've been giving you signs here so but you just haven't been listening to your intuition this has already happened this mistake here i feel like this person is aware you're dealing with someone quite young but they're kind of learning from you they 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 don't have any regrets when it comes to you and them coming together this is what i'm seeing in the three of pentacles I feel like there's a lot of praying going on here. You could be praying as well, gems, because this is your energy as well. Gemini and the magician and also Virgo energy. Trying to make the right decision, trying to make the right call here. This is what I'm feeling. We have the five of swords energy and we have the four of swords energy here as well. So this person affects you mentally. You're going through a lot of mental and physical agony with this ten of swords. This four of swords need a break, need some time for yourself, need some rest, maybe a vacation. Trying to get away from all of this drama. This is what I'm seeing here. But with the five of swords in reverse, it's like this person wants to come back and kind of like compromise, but not really. Because they have this energy of I'm going to win. I'm going to have the last word regardless. You know, this is what I'm picking up here. I feel like there's a lot of gossip or this person is just into what people are saying about them in this particular moment. It's not really about you and how you feel. You know, it's about them. Um, very like, ah, uh, let's live and let's have some fun. Um, let's not stress about things that we can't control. This is what I'm seeing here with this person's energy. Okay. They don't like to stay in the past. They want to just move in the, in the present. I feel like they're trying to figure out something as well. Figure out how to make this work or how to do this in this moment. You know, how to make things right. Like I said, they do want you and appreciate you in their lives. Um, when it comes to feelings, though, I don't see a lot of love. Like, I love you. It's more, like, logical, like, how you make them look better. You know, you make them feel better, look better. <laughs> now, I do see the Ten of Cups here. I do have the Nine of Cups as well. But this person values what your dreams are and your goals are. So, they do want to make you happy. I'm seeing a lot of investment here. I'm also seeing the Nine of Wands where this passion comes in. There is this energy of being stuck. So a lot of you could be with dealing with a Scorpio energy. Even a Pisces. A lot of emotions here. Okay. We have the high front in reverse as well. So Taurus energy. Stubbornness. A lot of stubbornness. This is what I'm picking up here. It's like this person feels very fulfilled with you, you know? They want that fulfillment with you, this completion with you. It's like they have this love for you here and definitely want to be successful with you. Everything that you are is what they want at the moment, you know? It's like... This is what I'm feeling. They, they want that success here. And then we have the death here. We have the high front. There's a codependency here as well. Some kind of codependency. Like a lot of people are around them trying to have them to do certain things that they're not sure about. They don't have, they're not very traditional. So they're kind of like jumping hoops here. This is what I'm seeing when making decisions based on your relationship, you know. And this could be why it's ending. It's in the reverse as well. Making a decision to end this. You're in separation, okay? My goodness, but there's so many good cards here. And then there's this like bump in the road, this stuck energy. Someone is stuck on this transition, not ready to move on, not ready to leave, not ready to let go. I'm seeing the Ten of Pentacles on the back. So 
it's like the foundation that you guys have built and this is in the future that I'm looking at here where it's like the separation like you're separated from this person this person is separated from you I'm seeing the star here so there's unfinished business there's going to be a huge opportunity for you and this person to actually get together and try to talk or communicate I'm seeing the five of cups as well so this person is making you feel very disappointed for some reason and making you feel like abandoned. The Empress is coming up. So somebody is expecting a child or someone. Yeah, I feel like someone is expecting here. Like we're getting a nurturing energy here. But this is not a good time. For that growth, for that opportunity, at least this is how you feel. Like, how am I going to tell, break the news with all of this going on? But you're going to have the huge opportunity to do this. Um, you're going to see it, you're going to feel it, you're going to know when. But I feel like a lot of you, if you're not careful, this is going to be the outcome if you're not pregnant in the future. Your intuition is so off within this person's energy. Like, something is wrong here like i said within the moon high priestess is also showing up in cancer aquarius for those of you who are dealing with aquarius virgo is coming up okay as well all right so let's just see let's tap into this person's energy and see what we have here for gems what's going on for gems Gems energy. What is the situation for gems? Trapped. What? Like, it's just stuck, tied up, captive. Like, like, you just feel trapped. You feel like the Eight of Swords. You feel like you're in a restrictive place. Like, you don't have the enough and en enough information like you've been trying to find out like what's going on here like you know like your intuition has been speaking to you and you want to find out what's going on this person is not telling you the truth this is what you feel you feel like you know what because you have a lot of responsibilities like i said before i even saw someone here that was expecting a child within this situation expecting a child here with the empress being here and you feel like, oh my God, and like, how am I going to get out of this? Everything is kind of like falling apart within this relationship. And you just don't know how to get out of this situation. And you feel stuck. You feel like you want some information, like you need some information. But this is all mental. You're not stuck. You're not stuck. You're free. You're not chained. You know, but for some reason, you you're got yourself in this situation and you feel like this is this is what it is for you. Right. But it's all mental. Remember, gems, your mind is your power, okay? Your mind is your power. That's why you are the manifestation. That's why you are the Gemini energy, okay? And I believe that came up here, too. A lot of you are definitely noticing that and you're realizing that. And a lot of you are getting in this energy of praying and manifestation and just getting your life back. Okay, so tell me more. Tell me more about this energy that's going on for Gemini's. Second chance. So we have a second chance coming up for you. Okay. Twin flame. Rejection. Wow. Wow. Distracted. A lot of you are distracted. I feel like, you know, and I kind of like, I thought I had brought that up as well, because it's like you were going through your healing and this relationship kind of like distracted you from your healing process. I know I said that because I was getting that energy. Oh my gosh. So there's going to be a second chance. This is what I'm seeing here for you and this person. Um, even for you and this person to communicate, like I said, I saw the star, you know, Aquarius energy where you're going to have this amazing opportunity, this bright opportunity to communicate, to let this person know if those of you are expecting or those of you that was want to talk about the relationship and want to know where's it going, you know, 
um, you're going to have this 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 opportunity but I'm seeing rejection here so a lot of you feel abandoned a lot of you feel dismissed you know like this person ha don't see you anymore don't want to be with you kind of like used you in the five of pentacles like this cold energy this cold vibe and you just don't understand this this is a consistency this is what I'm hearing but you're dealing with your twin flame so a lot of you are mirroring each other this person is in your life to actually bring things to the surface things that you're afraid about this is why you have that fear this is why you constantly go into this fear of something is going to happen like you're afraid because this is what your twin flame does they come into your life to make you kind of better if they're coming from you know a, a, a more light energy a light experience when they come through this world so for example if they have a great family and they've been raised correctly and they value human you know life and and so forth they're going to transfer this message in a decent way and this relationship can be successful intimately or even friendship wise it could be friendship or whatever right but if this person is coming from a toxic background you're most likely going to get this information very loud they're calling you names they're calling you this they're calling you that and you just cannot believe the person that you are with is calling you these things and treating you this way and this is why a lot of people this is why a twin flame connection is so very hard but either way it's going to be hard but you have a more higher percentage if this person is coming from a decent background but i feel like right now you're going through it with your twin flame this is going to be a second chance for you it's like rolling the dice and see what happens you know see what happens with you and this person but you feel trapped right now you feel like you can't go anywhere and a lot of you want to free yourself a lot of you want to leave you want to leave this um relationship this is what i'm seeing here okay so we're going to go ahead and just start clarifying some cards um <clears throat> let's just put these over here because i just uh want this to be here okay so tell me about this connection tell me about ooh one at a time thank you tell me about the page of wands why is this in reverse here uh divine one card please tell me about this page of wands energy Ooh, you have the ten of wands it's saying that you were carrying this relationship like from the get-go that this relationship was a burden but for those of you this is interested because this is still in the upright so it's telling me that you're still holding on to this connection okay you're just one foot in one foot out but you're still in this connection and then we have the eight of wands in reverse as well so a lot of history between you and this person's energy this is what i'm picking up here so this person is like keeping the truth from you or keeping the messages away from you things that you need to find out that is going to help this relationship this connection to move forward this person is like hiding this from you so why is this separation here i feel like this person is afraid wow choices so this person been busy look at this this person been busy you guys with different people different choices here there's this one victory though this might just be you within the center you know you and other people so they still want to be free like i said this person is coming off very young this person is coming off as someone that does not want to be in a committed relationship but giving committed offers <laughs> so you know big big offers big big offers that's what they're doing it's like they're playing that part you know you got to be careful this person is some trying to appear as your empress you know but is really not okay so tell me about this tell me about this more now we have the three of cups energy so a lot of your friends know about this a lot of your family know about this i feel like they don't know what to do within the situation um it's not like they're against you i don't feel like they're against you or anything like that but i feel like it's a tricky situation because they're showing up like someone that you know drink with you eat with you hang with you and you're you know your person so be careful with that energy be careful about bringing your person around friends and family all the time leaving them alone okay all right so oh look at this we have the judgment so there's going to be a final decision here very soon as well 
All right, so tell me about the five of... What is this compromise about? What is this? The five of swords. Is this a good thing? I don't think it is. This person is in it to win it, but let's see. I wanted one at a time. One at a time, but we're going to take it. Give me four, you guys. Oh, my gosh. All right, so we have the the tower. We have the two of cups in reverse. Wow. We have the ooh, this six of uh, cups in reverse and the high priestess. So this is about someone else. This deceit in the five of cups, the five of swords here. This deceit, hidden deceit. You know, this person wants to come back after they cheated. Something happened with this tower moment within this person. Two of cups here is someone from their past. This is what they're telling me. Okay, your intuition picked this up. So you know that this person was meeting someone from their past, someone that they've been with before, someone that they was with romantically before, and they they didn't work out either. This is what you're, they're telling me here. This is why this happened, the Five of Swords. You see, this is why I just felt like, you know, to do this clarification because <laughs> tell me about the moon. Tell me about the moon. Mm -mm. Okay. We have the Five of Wands. We have, wow, I didn't even see this. We have the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups. This person, like, really abandoned you. It's like a huge sadness because now you know that this person just came home and you just knew something was wrong within the moon because they kept arguing with you and starting fights with you and conflict with you for no reason. Like they just wanted a reason to fight and to be able to go um, to distance themselves from you. Like that's what they did. There's nothing that you did wrong within a situation. This person was, this is what they wanted. This is what they, <laughs> they caused this. And this is why I'm, I'm seeing your angels like coming up like this is your first thing like your angels and plus with the judgment here like this has already been made and set with that judgment decision nothing to do with you your angels have already made a decision where this person is going to have to learn karmic vibes karmic energy this is what I'm seeing here so tell me about this death energy why is this energy stuck why is this energy stuck Okay, we have two. Wow. Empty promises. Empty promises. It's like this. You want this new beginning. You want this fresh start. You want this to happen right away. This person come through with the empty promises, the nine of cups. But here they have the nine of cups like they want to like they still have these things that they want to do with you. So I feel like they're kind of using this or trying to blackball you. <laughs> For some reason like don't leave me because we you know we built a lot of things together you're going to throw everything away they probably just use that excuse to have you stay or to make you feel stuck this is what i'm seeing here tell me more the knight of cups yeah they're not giving you the offer they're not giving you that new beginning because you're in limbo land tell me about this high ferrant tell me about this high ferrant here so I feel like this person has unfinished business for you. Like this person needs to tell you some things to make this relationship work first. This is what I'm picking up. Like there's so much layers to this connection that if this, if the truth is not coming out, then it's not going to work. Tell me about this high France, please. Okay. One more. Oh, Lord. Oh, my gosh. Okay. We got two here. All right. So I was not trying to do this. Okay. So we have the Page of Swords. We have the Two of Pentacles. Wow. The Queen of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups here. Oh, my gosh. So definitely you know trying to protect yourself mentally within this connection knowing that you want the ace of cups you want this huge offer this person can be give you a small offer which is the knight of cups here you would have even took that if that was something that this person was going to give you you would have accepted it but this person is not even trying to give you that i'm seeing like the eight of pentacles where someone is trying to better themselves or trying to work something out here 
um but there is no offers at the moment i'm seeing like a decision has been made with this juggling going back and forth here um this person is overwhelmed with the situation so they're making a choice they have something it's like this person is is very cold energy this is what i'm seeing with this page of swords like very cold very stern um shut you down right away this is what i'm seeing very jealous energy too with this page of swords not trying to figure things out within this um choosing situation or juggling or cheating i feel like it's just that the lies are just becoming a little bit too much for this person to remember you know and they're kind of losing um themselves within this lie hmm all right, so let's see what your energy is because I feel like we need an energy boost. So what's the spiritual energy for gems within this read? Ooh. Let's see, we have two. Uh, I was trying to get one, but you always do that. You always have two. All right, so we have number 37 and number 28. Okay, and I'm trying to get these cards back in here. Okay. All right, so we have focus on the light, and I feel like focus on your light, you guys. This is what I'm seeing. There's going to be a collaborations or collaborate, collaborative dreams. So, um... I feel like a lot of you are calling in your soulmate or calling in another contract. This is what I'm picking up. But I'm also feeling like these collaborative dreams are going to be with someone close, you know, someone that is your soulmate. I don't feel like you're dealing with one right now. I feel like a lot of you are dealing with your twin flame or um, because I feel like we have the lovers in, in the beginning of the read. So... But I feel like you're going to be having dreams about someone you haven't met yet. I feel like you guys are very much connected. This is what I'm seeing here. I feel like the only way you're going to know about this, if you guys talk about it, you talk about your dreams together, then you're going to know who this is. You know, focus on the light. A lot of you are very nurturing and kind energy, but you're forgetting to focus on yourself. I'm seeing like you're helping other people, you're helping other people's dream come alive, but you're forgetting about you and what makes you happy and what you want within this life. And remember to take care of yourself because you are light. You're light here in the physical realm to experience a physical experience within this, this physical realm. So, but you have to nurture your spirit, nurture your spirit, nurture your light. Um, a lot of you are being, you're very attractive. So people see that light and like, and guide and that like they're guided to you relationship, friends, whatever it is, people at work. And they just, you know, suck out that light, that, that happiness out of you. And, and then you, suddenly they're controlling your mood. So you need to be very careful here. This is what I'm picking up for you. Okay. And then we're going to ask the angels some stuff here because I wanted to see um, what the message is for you. Okay. So let's see. Gemini, please. What's going on for Gem? what's the answers for gems i also feel like you guys need some advice i haven't done that in a while so all right so the angels want you to let go okay you guys are too like holding on to a transition which is so true because i feel like we saw the death here right we saw the death within scorpio which is transition is happening and you're holding on to it you're not letting go from this you're just like you don't want this transition to happen you want to remain within this energy okay you don't want to be you feel like you're going to be alone you feel like you're going to be abandoned but you already feel like that and you're already in this transition or in this relationship with this person and you feel already abandoned you feel this huge sadness you feel this disappointment so it doesn't matter if this person stays you you know you're going to end up feeling the same way but this energy is being let go so you could actually let something back in um let something better back in okay an opportunity is on the way for you you need to believe it this is what i'm hearing for those of you okay because this is coming and then we have what 
ask your angels. So they want you to build a relationship. I don't know if you prayed today, but this is important. Um, they want you to start building a relationship spiritually. Start talking to them. Start, you know, telling them what you want. Have a personal, have a personal prayer every day and asking your angels, like, you know, can I have this? Can I have that? Can you help me with this? Can you help me with that? They will love that relationship that you have built with them, okay? I'm seeing success here. I'm seeing, yes, you will be happy again. And if you ask your angels a question just now within this reading, just know that it is yes, okay? Perfect timing is that place as, as well. Divine timing is here. I'm going to leave this deck with that message because divine timing was something that came up in the beginning of your reading. And now I'm seeing it again as we're ending this reading, okay? It's saying perfect timing so just know that divine timing is at place at place here at play here in the temperance all right and you guys need to trust the divine trust the divine this is what i'm hearing so tell me about this please any advice that you have for gemini's please any advice that you have for gemini's moving forward any advice that you have for gemini's any positive advice thank you anything from the light Gemini's. Ooh. Ooh, like attract likes, you guys, and it's so true. Oh my god, I was watching a series the other day and I saw the same exact um you know note, like like attract likes. And it's true, positivity um attached to positivity you know you have to remain positive and this is also talking about your mental health so for those of you who are like damn i've been sitting here waiting for years for my life to get together and i still haven't got it together imagine can you just sit down and look in front uh, look in front of the mirror and look in front of you know and look at yourself and say would you the person that you are are you positive are you a positive person? Are you like really working on yourself? Are you change? Like, are, are you really like manifesting the things that you want? Or are you just waiting around for the divine to give it to you? You know, you have to meet them halfway. You have to do the work too. You're here for a spiritual um, experience. You know, in the fist, in the spiritual realm, we have everything. We have everything that we ever wanted. But in the physical realm, it's an experience. You have to work hard to get what you want. You have to use that mental power that magician to get what you want meditation manifestation okay i'm um, getting the spiritual beliefs really just thinking positive and only having positive people around you that's why you see a lot of successful people stick with a lot of successful people because they don't have time for the negativity the negativity bring that money down <laughs> bring that paper down y'all so you know the, like attract like it really really does it's unfortunate but it's true okay okay your beliefs are right for you so whatever you believe in whatever you're standing up for whatever you're speaking up for it is right for you don't let anyone put you down this is what i'm hearing don't let anyone take your your bliss your your beliefs you know fight for what you believe in again we got this again we had this twice it says let go here and then we have let go of the ego let go of the ego you guys there's way too much ego here let go and let god this is what i'm hearing for y'all let go and let god okay let go and let the divine take over okay all right so tell us more choose love over fear oh my god this i've been trying to live by this for so long and because i realized half of my life i've been choosing fear you guys and it's so important to choose love don't be afraid choose love even if you are you know even if it scares you a little bit you still have to choose love because what's going to happen is that you're going to have huge regrets. And anytime you choose fear, you go right back, right back to where you need to be again. It's like you're going through the cycle or the circle, I should say, within your life because you're choosing fear, right? Um, tell me more. Follow the golden rule. So do what's right, you guys. Stand up for what's real, what's true. Um, you know, do step by step. Don't try to break any rules or trying to cross over anybody to get on the top. This is what I'm hearing. Everything is going to come to you in time. 
So make each day count, okay? Get up and live. Go out there. Do something that you haven't done before. Do, get, be, listen, go jogging. If you haven't jogged before, if you haven't hiked before, it's time for you to get out in nature. It's green, okay? Um, stick with a lot of Virgos and Capricorns and um, Taurus energies. If you need to stay grounded, you guys, and you need to be out and about in nature, this is important. This is what I'm seeing. Tell me more, please. Tell me more for Geminis. End this with Geminis, please. End this with Geminis. Any more messages for Geminis? Gemini's lead by example you guys you are being watched okay know your truth wow stand up for yourself you're not a doormat but do it with you know respectfully <laughs> even though they weren't respectful to you but that's the point of being here you are you are setting an example lead by example okay love you guys this is what I have for you I hope it resonates and I'll see you guys in your next read bye guys